Hello my fellow lobsters and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing off the command slash fill and a couple of its many uses. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to note with slash fill is um, how you actually would uh, write it down in the uh, or type it in the command chat uh, or command blocks. So you'd start with this here, obviously the slash fill. Then you'd go to the start coordinates, uh, which would be like this. This is how you would do it. You would go to, um, I just want it to start here. And then, so that's the start coordinates, the end coordinates. Then you would do your block, which I'm just going to do the default thing, whatever this is going to be. And then you go to your tags, once again, you can get face, facing, powered, etc. Um, and then also, finally, your destroys, your keeps, and two more new things um, that are different from set block, which is outline and hollow. And also, if you use replace, um, you can actually put which block you want to replace with set uh, with fill, which um, in set block you're unable to do that. So. Um, I just want to demonstrate what each one of these do before I start jumping into some of its uses. So first off, I want to um, note uh, what destroy does. Obviously, um, if you've watched my set block video, you don't need to see this part, but basically all it does is it takes away all of the, or it just mines it with no enchants. So, um, that's how destroy works. Really simple. Let me just... Oh. Okay. Apparently I shouldn't have flipped that lever. I don't need a ton of spruce planks. Okay, back to diamonds. Now, over here, I want to try out, um... Hollow. So, hollow is different than the other ones. So, um, if I flick this lever here... There we go. It changes into the spruce planks, and as its name states, it's going to be hollow. So if you open it up, it's just going to set the blocks in the inside of this general area to air. And this works the exact same way, just like most of the um, these little uh, ending kind of tag things. It works the exact same way in Bedrock Edition, just so you know, for anybody who's Bedrock Edition out there watching this. Um, it works exactly how it does in Java for most of the commands. Besides NBT data, almost everything is exactly the same. So anyways, back to this. Um, we can go and we can change this from hollow to outline. So outline is almost the exact same thing. Let me just turn this back to diamonds. And if you notice, it's not hollow on the inside uh, currently. Um, and if I were to flick this lever, it actually keeps any blocks in the inside there. So it's a little bit of, it's almost the exact same thing as hollow, except you can keep blocks on the inside instead of having to destroy all the um, decorations that you might have put in your build. So let me switch this back to diamonds. So now is the keep. So keep, you wouldn't really see anything happen here. I'm going to spam this lever, nothing happens, um, but if I were to put air in this area, keep will actually replace the air with that certain block. So this is much more useful with fill, as it's able to um, get rid of blocks you don't want, um, or it can put blocks in um, instead of having to... Um, fill a certain area and just take out all the blocks on the inside so this one works this one has has to be used a little more creatively than the other ones but it's still incredibly useful in this um, command block sort of endeavor kind of thing so over here now we're gonna go to replace so replace is different than in set block so in the set block video that I did Replace basically does the exact same thing 
as um, the default. Like, it won't change at all. But if you do replace on here, you can actually re specify which blocks you want to replace. So if I put, like, Minecraft diamond block, right now, it would take off, it would replace all of the blocks. But if I turn it back and I put something, or, and I, if I even put air, it doesn't replace the air because the air isn't a diamond block. But if that air was diamond blocks, it would replace it. And this goes the same for stuff like torches, sandstone, diamond ore. It won't change that. It'll only change the block um, that's specified for it to change, which is a really cool feature. And it's actually incredibly useful, especially when trying to fill out, uh, trying to fill certain areas in, let's say, like the desert. You want to get rid of a bunch of sand. You can use this to get rid of everything that's sand but nothing else and you can use this also in the nether to get rid of lava um which is still a really cool feature uh but next now we have the um so this is our little house kind of thing i'm just going to drop a couple random items in here um so this is a use i think it's pretty well fit um to the keep so basically what I'm gonna do here is I am going to make it so this house is basically buried in stone kind of like how a shipwreck does itself um, where it basically just um you could just find it in the uh, in the water with like buried in there so what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna use tab um, while I'm selected on this block so I go slash fill tab 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 and this is the exact coordinates of that block I'm gonna press enter and it's gonna give me an unknown command error but if I go on to the next one and press the up arrow it will actually um save the command that I did last time as long as you enter it if you don't enter it it won't save itself so then I'm just gonna do tab 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 again like that and just to show this off one more time it still does save the command like exactly how I did it last time. I'm going to do stone and then I'm going to do keep. So just for just so I can show it off, um I the my favorite way to um get the commands into the command block is to do it in the chat line first or use a super reliable command generator. I'm going to leave some of those in the description. Um but these things um can be I put into command blocks because they have a much bigger like sort of uh, amount of characters that you can put in so let me just turn this on and if you notice this is still here which is a good sign and let's say I'm just my mining and then all of a sudden I'm like what the there's a door and then if you go in here um, anything that was air was replaced and the exact same stuff that I put in here is still there so that's a really cool way to be able to um, to be able to encase or like petrify something um, I think that this is one of my favorite ways to use this command but either way on to destroy so if you watch slash set block once again this is gonna do the exact same thing and all it does with diamond or oh I didn't put the command in so let me just show this off again tab 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 enter go up here um, up arrow enter 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 air destroy control a control c go into the command block control v click done and that's it and then all you do is you click it there and there you go so with destroy on any ore that drops xp it will still drop xp basically all destroy does is it mines the block um, using a no enchant tool so it's really simple how destroy works and it can be really useful in certain situations but either way we're gonna have to move on from destroy which is actually my favorite command keyword I'm just gonna move over here to replace this one is also amazing to use so what I'm gonna do once again is actually this time because I have to get from here to under the lava, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the coordinates of the block 
at the level the lava is. So basically, splash fill and uh, tab, tab, tab. I click enter, and um, I already know how deep the lava is. It's two blocks deep, so I believe at least. So I only had to mine one. Um, I'm just gonna go um, up arrow, tab, 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 air replace and then this is the part you just do the name of the block really simple and then you can paste it in here and once I click it nice diamonds that's a really cool way to mine um, especially if you're just removing stone you can find some really cool ores and such but um basically you can remove all of the blocks from a certain area so now on to our next one. This one is hollow. So uh, for this example, I'm just going to have it so you're basically, you want to go in this stone kind of area and you want to build a house. But what the only problem is, don't have any tools to excavate it. So you decide to use commands. So once again, slash fill, tab, tab, tab. And you can actually decrease the Y, which is the second one. If you decrease it by one, um, you subtract one by it, basically, it goes down one block. So that means that instead of taking the coordinates of this block, it's taking the coordinates of this block right here, the one I just mined and replaced. Um, so that's how that works. And then I'm just going to fly up here and take the coordinates of this block, and I'm going to put spruce, planks, um, and I'm going to put hollow and I'm not going to use the command block for this one because hopefully you guys understand how that works if you don't I have a lot of I'm going to have a lot of tutorials and watch those I'll leave links in the description if they're out right now um, and basically if I click enter here what it's going to do is it's going to leave this hollow area in the inside where I can start building my base and obviously if this was in an area with stone, this stone right here that's not the general area that we're removing would still be there. So we get like a nice sort of um, cave house kind of thing. And it should look really cool. The, I believe this is actually the command that they Minecraft uses when they're excavating caves. They will use hollow, take out anything in the inside, and that's why you can find so many ores in caves. So next up, we have the basically same command um, slash outline, except I'm going to show what the difference is. So basically, I'm going to fill tab, tab, tab. I'm going to decrease by one, just like I did on the last one. Fly up here. Take the coordinates of this block, just like I, how I took the other one. Spruce. Planks. And then I'm going to put outline. Enter. So now, instead of there being nothing on the inside, there's a little bit of stone as well. So I can just take out this stone, and it helps. Um, and with this kind of thing, uh, what you would use this for is if you um, have some, some like, uh, decoration already put somewhere, and you want to create um, a different kind of wall. So, like, let's say I have this... Um, sort of little fake decoration kind of thing I'm just building right now just to show you um I put the redstone torch down here and my trap door like that and it's my amazing like um, decoration thing obviously I mean like it uh, this is so it's like so amazing this um tiny little thing it has so many features like this redstone torch, it powers the trap door, but you can still move it. It's like so crazy. But anyways, so let's say I don't like the stone anymore, and I don't have, um, and I want to change it to like, for some reason, bedrock. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did earlier, fill, tab, 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 subtract by one. And now you don't actually have to do this, but the reason I'm doing this is so it fills the floor as well. Um, I really don't. I, actually, I'm going to subtract it by one more so the redstone torch stays, because um, the redstone torch is actually one below. But the reason I'm um, doing this is because I just want to fill the floor, and I don't want to have some sort of, like, overhang. I'll show you um, what that would look like, or what one of my other examples would look like with the overhang. So I do this, 
I go over here, here, and then I want bedrock outline. So then, um, over here, everything has turned to bedrock. As you can see, there's a little, um, sort of dip there, and, um, everything besides these two things which were in the original area are now bedrock. So that's a really cool way to do that. So, as I said earlier, I am going to test, or I'm going to show you what would happen with this area, and I'm, uh, if I didn't make it go one block lower. So, first of all, I have to, um, turn this, or, here we go. So, this is our first position, um, that we subtracted by one. If I add one to it, instead of being flush with the ground, it's now one block higher, and I don't want it like that. By the way, this is just from the last time, so if I were to mine down, it would look more like this than the actual spruce planks. So you always want to think how you can make it flush, and how you can make your commands um, have the least work after you execute them. Um, that's really how uh, you would do that kind of stuff. Like, obviously, um, I could execute this command, and once again, this would be sandstone. And then I want to mine out the floor, or I can make it much easier by simply um, going here and making it one block lower instead, and it's instant. So you just want to think how you could make it the easiest for you and the least amount of time typing in commands. But either way, thank you so much for watching and make sure to stay up to date with our command block videos um, by subscribing to our channel and or um, just remembering to watch them, I guess. But um, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next command block video. Goodbye!